One of the best things about our planet is that there's a wide array of animals, from birds in the air to fish and other creatures of the water to the many, many animals that roam above and below the ground. It's safe to say that there's a plethora. The problem is that while many of these creatures are unique and cool to look at sometimes, there are equally as many animals that you should stay away from the moment you see them. Whether it be because of their aggression, their hidden poisons, or something in between, here now are 20 dangerous animals you should never touch. Number 20. Coconut Crab If you see these animals, run and don't look back would be a great tagline for this video because many of these animals are ones that you should indeed never stick around when they approach you or you approach them. I'll start off a little low-key here and talk about the coconut crab. Most crabs are ones you won't want to touch. After all, they have pinchers and they can lock around your finger. And if it's powerful enough, you may lose that digit. Don't believe me? Just ask a crab fisherman. Anyways, the coconut crab is special because in terms of pure mass, it is the biggest of the lot. Not the longest, that would be the Japanese spider crab. But in terms of bulk, the coconut crab has plenty to spare. In terms of length, it can be over three feet from claw to claw, and it uses that mass to have an impressive amount of strength. The reason that it got its name is because it'll climb up trees and knock down coconuts and then crack them with its claws. Those things, they take some serious force to get into, so if this crab can get into one, you should stay away. Equally as unique compared to other crabs is the fact that the coconut crab won't only climb up trees to get coconuts, it'll actually go up there to eat birds. That's right, birds are totally on the menu, and it can eat them with brutal efficiency or be quite crabby about it. Either option is true. After all of this, it should be clear why you don't want to mess with these crabs. They're big and powerful, and they'll attack you when they're threatened. They've attacked humans in the past, so you can't say you haven't been warned. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 19. Blue Ringed Octopus The last entry was one that was more of a you shouldn't touch them if you get close, meaning that you can do so, but you're putting yourself at risk. With the Blue Ringed Octopus though, I will flat out tell you to never touch this thing, because if you do, you're very likely to die. Why is that? Well, because this is one of the few octopuses of the world that happens to have a toxin inside of its body, and it's so strong that it will kill you. The octopus produces venom containing tetrodotoxin, histamine, tryptamine, octopamine, taurine, and other means. The venom can result in nausea, respiratory arrest, heart failure, severe and sometimes total paralysis, blindness, and can even lead to death within minutes if not treated. Death is usually from suffering due to paralysis of the diaphragm. And while it's said that it can be treated, you literally have just minutes before you'll die, and that's if you're lucky. Plus, the likely way you're going to meet this creature is when you're underwater, so it means that you won't exactly have a cure on hand for those toxins. And yeah, if you touch the octopus, well, it was nice knowing you. The good news is that the Blue Ringed Octopus doesn't actively seek out confrontation, just the opposite actually. Creature prefers to be in hiding for most of its life. The way that its body is constructed allows it to slip through the cracks and crevices of any area that it's in. The toxin is more of a self-defense tactic alongside of the coloration of its skin to warn people that if you get too close, you're going to regret it, and if it's provoked, it can quickly change color, becoming bright yellow with each of the 50 to 60 rings flashing a bright iridescent blue. And so, if you don't recognize this octopus at first, well, you'll certainly remember it soon enough. Number 18. Komodo Dragon 
Now sadly, we don't have actual dragons in our world. Yes, I said sadly. Don't think for one second that I'd believe that you wouldn't want a dragon as a pet if you could control it. Now anyways, while we don't have those creatures in our world, we do have some that are dragon-like in looks, if not size, flight, and fire-breathing ability. I'm speaking, of course, about the Komodo dragon, a lizard that is the largest and heaviest of its kind, as in the entire lizard species pales in comparison to what this beast of a thing is. Komodo dragons are large lizards with long tails, strong and agile necks, and sturdy limbs, and they can get up to 10 feet in length, weighing over 150 pounds. Again, they are the biggest lizards of the bunch, and they are true apex predators. You'll only find them on certain islands in Indonesia, but they rule the roost when they're around. Despite their size, they're also known to be quite sneaky and calculating hunters. If you want another reason not to touch them, you need to only fear their bite. That bite is toxic, or some people should claim. There's a lot of scientists who actually debate whether the Komodo dragon has toxic saliva, but it's known that the other lizards have it, ones that are much of smaller sizes than the Komodo, so it should be true, or it might not be. Who wants to volunteer to be bit? The good news is that while Komodos are aggressive predators, when it comes to their targets, humans are not one of them. In fact, they've been known to shy away from humans when they approach. But still though, you don't want to tempt fate in case you get one that's not so timid that day. Number 17. Cone Snails now, at first you may think it odd that I went from a dragon to a snail. After all, the Komodo dragon is a big beast of a thing, and a cone snail is just a snail. Snails are small and something that people in France eat for reasons that are known only to them. But, as in all things of the world, there's an exception to every rule. The cone snail may be small, but it's also deadly. These snails kill their prey using a venom that's known as conotoxin. Very few humans are killed each year, but it's still better to be aware that there is indeed a snail that can kill you out there, because this one certainly can. It also doesn't help that these snails are known to have pretty shells, so thus people might not sense the danger that would lead them to picking them up and then regretting it soon afterwards. What's more, there are many different species of cone snails, and their potency and venom changes based on the species that you're dealing with. Symptoms of a more serious cone snail sting can include intense localized pain, swelling, numbness, and tingling along with vomiting. Mmm, delicious. Symptoms can start immediately or can be delayed for days. Severe cases involve muscle paralysis, changes in vision, and respiratory failure that can actually lead to death. Now, unlike the blue-ringed octopus, the cone snails that you'll meet will have a bigger buffer between injection and potential death, so you can actually get treated if you react quickly and get to a treatment center. But again, the reason that you might be susceptible to such strikes from the snail have to do with the fact that you might only see the shell and not realize the dangers that can be within. So be mindful whenever you go to the beach. Number 16. American Alligator now, arguably, you could have put any alligator on this list, and pretty much the lot of them are dangerous to their core. But I'll single out the American alligator for this entry. The first reason you'll want to stay away from this creature is its size. The average adult size for a female is 8.2 feet, and the average size for the male is 11.2. Now, even if you're a tall human, you're not going to compare to this gator. Plus, it can weigh up to a thousand pounds, so when you mix the length with its weight and factor in its muscular body, well, it's going to be a threat to anything that gets within its range. Now, because alligators are what is known as first strike predators, meaning that a gator could be only a few feet next to you and you'd be fine, but the moment that it gets within striking range, it'll lash out and try to grab a hold of you. You'll probably have seen these in videos of people or animals who got too close to a gator and then they get caught within their jaws. The typical attack pattern is an ambush, and they'll either blend in with the water that they like to inhabit or sneak up on their prey and then grab them, drag them into the depths, and then devour them up. The good news is that you can escape an alligator's grasp, but it's hardly the easiest thing in the world to do. Many animals can't even survive, and many humans won't do so either. 
Their camouflage abilities make them even deadlier, because especially at night, they can blend right into the surface of the water, and you'll only see their eyes sticking out. So, if you're anywhere near this gator, or a similar species, do be mindful to look out for them. Number 15. Hyena Anyone who's watched The Lion King will know why hyenas are terrible. They hunt in packs, they have a laugh that'll drive you insane, and they look like something that wants to kill you. You don't need that in your world, do you? Arguably, the most famous feature is how they talk to each other and their enemies. Hyenas make a variety of vocalizations which include wailing calls, howling screams, and well-known laughter, which can be heard up to three miles away and is used to alert other clan members of a food source. Another thing that nobody wants a pack animal that's smart enough to alert its colleagues without a whole lot of issue. As if that wasn't enough, they're a very territorial creature, so if you were to try and get in close enough to pet it or even examine it, it's going to lash out and you'll be the one paying the price. Now yes, many animals have territorial instincts, but this is a creature by which you can actually die from if you encroach upon its territory. Their jaws are amongst the strongest in relation to its size of any other mammal, and they have a digestive tract which will allow them to process and obtain nutrients from skin and bones. So when they eat, they get everything possible from the source. A misconception about hyenas is that they don't hunt for themselves and instead pick off the scraps of others. This was even referenced in The Lion King multiple times. The difference in real life is the fact that they hunt 75% of the the food that they eat, and will eat other things if the hunt doesn't go poorly, which include carrion, but they clearly perform at a high level enough to get their own stuff. Whether they're as good of singers as the hyenas in The Lion King, well, that's still not known. Number 14. The Pufferfish now I'll be talking about one of the most deadly creatures of the world, one that you should fear when you hear its name alone, the pufferfish. In many ways, the pufferfish is a tale of two types of fish. Upon first gaze at the creature, it looks like any regular old fish, one that can't really put up a fight. It looks even sillier when you see it swim. These fish are known for a clumsy style of swimming that would make you think that it's not going to be a threat to anyone, and you might even think that it's weird that the fish isn't extinct because of how lame that it is. But don't judge a book by its cover, especially when that interior is poison. When provoked or frightened, it will inflate its body and have a bunch of spikes that can dump out tetrodotoxin on anything that it touches. And because those spikes are everywhere on its body, it's hard to touch it without being stung. Tetrodotoxin is the most powerful venom in the world, and you can die within minutes after exposure. That is, unless you're eating it at an official Japanese restaurant, it is a real thing. You have to be a master chef in order to prepare the puffer fish, because if you serve the wrong part of the fish and you don't remove every single place the poison is, you're going to kill someone. Japan is the one and only country that's known for excellently cooking the puffer fish, so you should accept no substitute. Number 13. Shark How perfect that for entry number 13 we talk about one of the most infamous and unlucky creatures in the world, the shark. Now I won't be singling out one shark for this list, I'm going to talk about the whole gambit of them that threaten humans in general. But first, a public service announcement. While shark attacks do happen all over the world every year, the numbers of them aren't what you would expect. They're not in the hundreds, it's more like the dozens. That's a lot of attacks, but it's not like pop culture would lead you to believe with all the movies and shows that have featured shark attacks. There are multiple reasons not to touch a shark. One, I doubt that you'll be properly protected from them. And two, many shark species are aggressive, so touching them could risk you harm. And three, even if they don't attack you, 
That doesn't mean that another shark in the area won't in order to defend its kind. The most feared sharks are the ones like the Great White, the Mako, and the Tiger Shark, and each one of them has a variety of ways to make you beg for mercy. Some are all about raw power, others are all about speed, and the Hammerhead Shark can even see in perfect 360 degrees, meaning that you won't be able to hide from one. Most places where sharks reside have a sign or a warning that they are indeed around, so be mindful, be careful, and don't get bit. Number 12. Wolf Now, I'll be completely honest, wolves, well, they do get a bad rap. They've been constantly put into folklore and stories that highlight how the wolf species are evil or from the underground and so forth and so on, and people in North America saw them as such a threat at times that they almost wiped them out completely from extinction, and that's not cool at all. Thankfully, people have began to warm up to the notion of wolves not being the terrors that they remember, and as such, there have been concerted efforts to protect the species over time. That being said, there are fair and logical reasons why you shouldn't touch a wolf. First of all, it could have rabies, and that's something you don't want to get. Secondly, while wolves aren't monsters of myth that everyone thinks they are, that doesn't mean they're not territorial. The lone wolf thing isn't fully true, and many wolves actually hunt in packs. And if you pick on one wolf, you might be dealing with all of them. If they think you're a threat, they're going to attack, so you're not going to want to take that risk. And finally, while they are canines, it doesn't mean that they're domesticated dogs. A common misconception is that wolves can be just like dogs, but that also isn't fully true. Wolves can be trained, but they can never be tamed. They have a wildness in them that never goes away, and they even pass it on to their offspring, which is the reason why many wolf hybrid species are banned in certain countries, because they don't want to deal with their wild side. Number 11. Tigers While lions may be the king of the jungle, even though they don't live in a jungle, tigers are the biggest natural cats around. I say natural cats because of the liger, which is a forced fusion between the tiger and the lion. They're bigger than both of those big cats, but it's not a naturally occurring thing, so it doesn't really count. Anyways, how big am I talking? Well, the Amur tiger is one of the largest subspecies of the cat. The males can weigh up to 660 pounds and measure in at about 10 feet. The Sumatran tiger is the smallest subspecies, maxing out at about 310 pounds and 8 feet. And if you think about that, between the biggest and the smallest is only about two feet, and both times they can weigh several hundred pounds. Do you understand why you shouldn't pet a fully grown one now? Unlike lions, tigers prefer the solitary lifestyle, so you won't have to fear a pack of them unless you're really unlucky. As apex predators, they use a mixture of strength and stealth to get their food, and they only need to hunt once a week and can easily eat 75 pounds of food in one go. Yes, we all want to pet the kitty or have a pet tiger like Jasmine or Ezekiel, but unless you want to lose that hand to a tiger bite, you should probably stay away. Number 10. Scorpions now, I'll be honest here, why anyone would want to touch a scorpion is beyond me. I mean, these things are one of the scariest and creepiest out there, and you suddenly want to go and touch one? I mean, who hurt you as a child? Now, it might have been a scorpion if you live in certain places. They can be found in deserts, jungles, and more. and there were even ancient ones that were bigger than humans. Thankfully, they're all extinct. Obviously, the biggest reason you never want to touch a scorpion is because of its stinger. It's going to deliver a lot of pain to you if you allow it, and that might just be the start of your problems. Because as you might have known or guessed, some of those scorpions have toxins in their stingers, and some of them have stings that can be fatal. Number 9. American Buffalo the American buffalo is an iconic animal within the country, as it's been known to be a primary food source for many people over the years. That includes many Native American tribes that once roamed the lands before the colonists arrived. So why don't you want to touch the animal that gives you a lot of meat that you can sometimes consume? Well, this is a case where having a lot of bulk gives you a lot of power. 
Though their sizes vary, they can be up to 5 feet tall and weigh almost a ton. Plus, the males have antlers. So, just imagine one of these things charging at you because you got too close. It would not end well for you. And this is the case of being better safe than sorry. If you see one of these buffalo, you should just admire it from afar. Number 8. Lions now we're finally to the king of the jungle, who still doesn't live in the jungle, and we all know that many of you have heard stories about people petting lions. Well, you'll have heard tales of adventures from people who got lions at a certain age and raised them to be their best friends. The catch with all of those stories is that those lions were raised from birth by the people. They form a connection with them, not unlike what most lions do with their prides. The humans that raise them will treat them like one of their own, so the lion cubs do that in return. Now if you try to do that with a wild lion, however, you're probably going to get pounced on and likely devoured. Lions have attacked safari vehicles and have killed people in the past, so don't be the next person added to that statistic. Number 7. Hippos Due to a certain board game, you may think that hippos are big lumbering creatures that are just hungry for some food. Well, if you don't want to be their next meal, you'll want to stay away. Hippos are one of the biggest dangers that you can face if you were to head to Africa. They're long, they're heavy, and they're deceptively powerful and fast. They can weigh up to 4,000 pounds at times and yet run up to 20 miles per hour on land. They're likely faster in the water. These beasts have flipped over boats, they've caused stampedes on land, and they've utterly destroyed people over the course of recorded history. Case in point, one guy thought that he had a pet hippo, and that hippo bit him in half. Number 6. Crocodiles now, I've already talked about one side of the equation with alligators, now we'll flip it to talk about the other, that being crocodiles. Just like alligators, crocodiles are first strike predators that will blend into their environment and then lash out at what it feels is great prey. And if that's you, well, I'm sorry for your loss. The reason to separate the two, though, is that they have a key difference in size and weight. Crocs tend to be bigger beasts, and that results in them being more dangerous. The biggest species can be up to 21 feet long and weigh well over 1,200 pounds, and that's basically four average-sized people put together end-to-end, -to -end, and the weight doesn't even compare. So, if they do grab onto you, you're going to be in for the fight of your life trying to break out of their grip. So, stay alert and just don't get caught by them. Number 5. Tsetse Fly now, I've honestly not covered a lot of insects in this video, and there's a good reason for that. Insects, like hippos, are terrible, but I also wanted to save a slot for some of the deadlier and more dangerous ones, like the tsetse fly. This fly is so dangerous because it can transmit the sleeping sickness to you. This is a sickness that hit the world pretty hard over a hundred years ago, and when it happened, all sorts of people got sick and couldn't sleep. had personality changes due to chemicals in the brain, and so on. It was so bad that it could kill a person if they weren't treated for it. That's more than enough reason to fear such a fly touching you, and thankfully, they're not all over the world like some flies, but do be careful just in case. Number 4. Snakes The reason that you don't want to touch a snake is quite simple. It's because they bite. Now yes, not all of them are going to be a threat to you in terms of their bite, but that doesn't mean that you should go around all willy-nilly and touch every snake in sight. Plus, as you hopefully know, snake bites can have venom, and ones like the black mamba have plenty of poison within them to kill a human within minutes. I'll ask you a question. How many snakes can you easily identify? Well, exactly. You might be able to do one or two, but there are a whole lot of them out there, and if you pick up the wrong one, it may be the last thing that you do. Number 3. Mosquito yeah, it wouldn't be a list without this bug, sadly, and equally as bad, it's not up to you whether you touch a mosquito or not, it's the bug that does the deciding in this relationship. You see, when it comes to this insect, it's infamous for sucking the blood of others and giving things back in return. By that, I mean diseases. This is one of the biggest carriers of diseases in the world today, and I'm not selling it short. It alone caused the West Nile virus to spread rampantly throughout parts of the world. The creepy part 
about the mosquito is that when you get bitten by one, it's by design. It can sense the blood types in people and then willingly choose a host that will have the blood type that it likes. Disgusting. So not unlike other creatures on this list, if you do get bitten by one and think something is wrong, well, you should get it checked out. Number 2. Elephants Depending on if you've been to the zoo, the circus in the old days, or even a safari, you may think that the elephant is one of the most majestic creatures around, and you might be right in a lot of ways. These are beautiful entities that are big, powerful, majestic, and yet kind when they want to be. The problem is that society has painted them as gentle giants when that only applies to a select few. Like the ones that are used to the human presence in safaris or are fed at the zoo by their trainers. And if you approach one in the wild, it's very likely to rush you and trample you to death. These things can be up to 10 feet tall and weigh 14,000 pounds at times, and that's more than enough to crush you. So only pet an elephant if you're told so by a trained professional that you can trust or else. Number 1. Bees, Wasps, and Hornets I'm going to lump all of these insects in together because the intent is the same here. If you want to have a good day and possibly not die, well, don't do anything to get touched by a bee, a wasp, or a hornet. These are some of the most territorial creatures around in regards to their nests, and if you get too close to one, well, they're going to swarm you and sting you to death. Equally as bad, multiple species of them have been known to be so aggressive or large that they can actually kill people on their own or in swarms. Killer bees do exist, people, and y'all remember the murder hornets, right? Well, if you see a nest near you, the best thing to do is to be smart and call the exterminator. That's all from the realm of animals and the ones that you should stay the heck away from. Which of these are you indeed going to stay away from when you potentially come into their habitats? And which ones do you really hope you don't accidentally run into? Are there any others that should be on this list? Be sure to let me know all about it in the comment section down below. Check out the other cool things that are showing up on the screen, and I'll see you next time.